Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents with Romans chapter 14 verses 5 and 5 to 7. One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Now, Pat's two cents, a little pause for the cause. There are people, either Jews or Seventh-day Adventists or whatever, that believe in worshiping on the Sabbath. That's fine. That's strictly, that's totally biblical. That was God's original plan. Nothing wrong with that. However, the fault is when you judge another church or another group, another faith, denomination, uh, whatever, and you wipe them off and say, mm, tis, 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 they're not going to make it into the kingdom of God because they are worshiping on Sunday. <laughs> oh, oh, shut your mouth. Your opinion, based on what you believe on the word. But there are people going to church on Sunday that believe that the requirement to worship on a day was done away by the New Testament of freedom. So if you want to worship on the Sabbath, fine. Do it in faith. But don't hold yourself away from your brothers and sisters in Christ like you who decide they want to worship on Sunday and in your mind write them off from even entering the kingdom of heaven because how can they go to heaven worshiping on a, su on a Sunday? Okay. That's what the Bible means. Don't judge. Let them be. They answer to, to God, the same God you answer to. Do you hear what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me read that again. Verse 6. He that regard, regardeth the day, regardeth it unto the Lord. And he that regardeth not the day, to the Lord he doth regard it. This is verse 6. Okay. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks. And he that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not, and giveth God thanks. Do you see what the word is saying? All right, verse 7. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm not going to go any further right now. I know people who will not enter the building of a church that worships on Sunday. Or they won't enter a building of a church that worships on Saturday. Do you realize Jesus said, I am Lord of the Sabbath? The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So, when you worship God, there should be a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week worship. Any day of the week to worship God is lawful because Jesus, who is Lord of the Sabbath, says... It is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Jesus is our Sabbath. Now, I am not telling you not to worship on the Sabbath. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying do it in faith and that's great. But don't judge those or look down on others who choose to do it on Sunday or Monday or Tuesday or five or six days a week. And they don't do it on Sabbath. Whatever. Leave them be. If God is blessing them. God is in their life. He's moving. How dare you. 
say they're not worthy. You're not their master. God is. That's my point. We need to love each other. We are the body of Christ. We all have one Father, one Spirit, one Lord and Savior. Why are we so splintered, you guys? What is wrong with this picture? 